what it is guys uploading a raw clip here I'm um, doing it on a separate computer from the normal computer we normally upload from when I say we I'm talking about my boy Lino who helps me with these videos these daily vlogs that I've been posting guys um, so yeah it's been a few days since I posted a vlog I figured I'd post a raw clip here I, I won't have an issue doing that strong I'm not sure phone or vibrator uh, the the technical difficulties my buddy's been having basically led him to order a brand new 27 inch iMac that's coming in the mail. He doesn't use iMovie or Final Cut Pro to edit these videos guys. So um, he uses something a little bit more complex. He swears by it, I'm not gonna argue it. Um, so that's coming in the mail, it should be here early next week. So pumping out daily vlogs from that point forward. So don't worry, I haven't fallen off. Um, and if anything, I'm making this video to remind you guys that I'm still here, all right? Um, it's only been a few days, so cut me some slack. Um, yeah, this time is not, it's not one of those Oh, sorry, I'm not going to be here for a few months or whatever. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm back on it as soon as that computer comes in. Um, and we've got some 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 footage already um, recorded that we just need to put on the videos and, and, and post up for you guys. But uh, some exciting things, too. Cut's going well. Um, I'll, up, I'll update you guys with that in another video. But for right now, I wanted to explain to you guys, and this is something I meant to do in the beginning of my daily vlogs that I never really got to, was to explain the schedule of my daily vlogs. So you hear daily, you might think, oh, he's going to be posting seven videos a week. Well, no, um, daily as in, I'm going to be recording stuff daily, um, close to seven days a week recording. But what I want to, and what I have been aiming for is to post Monday through Thursday, if not Monday through Friday for daily vlogs. All right, guys. And the things that I do record, you know, on the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'll be posting some of those things earlier in the next week, right? So Monday or Tuesday. Um, so that's the schedule. That's the plan. Again, um, back on, back, right back on it, uh, starting next week. Um, that being said, keep that in mind for the future daily vlogs. Um, I'm excited to update you guys with my cut. I know I'm just wearing this. Maybe I'll do a posing update. Um, little by little though, I'm not in a rush, just losing a little bit of weight here and there. But again, sorry, I'm so excited about that. I'll update you guys in another video. Um, anyway, I want to share this with you guys. Uh, shout out to my boy Joram who helped me out, hooked me up with a awesome pair of kicks that I've been wanting for a long time. Um, I'm not, well, okay. So I've been a fan of the NBA for a long time, guys. I've never really been like a shoe head, like, you know, like the serious shoe heads out there. I do like shoes. I've always liked shoes, but I'm not like as serious as some people are. Um, I respect, I respect the greats in the sport. So, um, I remember back in middle school, I think, or the end of elementary school towards middle school, uh, the, the Lakers, the LA Lakers were on their trifecta, you know, the Kobe and Shaq days where they won three championships in a row. Uh, I was, I was so in love with, with, uh, you know, the legends in the making, you know, the legends in their prime, actually, Kobe, Shaq, I went to LA and specifically bought a Kobe Bryant number eight jersey. And um, it just brings back memories because this is a Kobe shoe and this is the first Kobe shoe I've ever had. Um, obviously, Golden State Warrior fan, that's my local team. That's who I'm loyal to. Um, and I love them, obviously, a historic run this year and I'm excited about the playoffs and how they're gonna turn out. Um, OKC is putting up a great battle. And I just said that for reference on, you know, the date, uh, the date from this video, so I can look back on it and be like, oh, that's when, you know, OKC was playing uh, the Warriors in the playoffs in 2016. But anyway, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and another thing, let me just touch on one more thing that I just kind of digged into sports. Um, I think that the, the more annoying than actual bandwagon fans themselves are the people who accuse people of being bandwagon fans. It's almost like anybody who's a Warrior fan now is a bandwagon fan, which is fine. You know, you can accuse whatever you want, but just know that that's how you come off. All right. Um, so those bandwagon comments, leave them elsewhere. I'm a huge fan of the NBA, not just the Warriors. I'm probably more well-versed on your own team than you are. Um, I love, you know, anything and everything NBA related. That being said, not the reason why I got these shoes, but just a fun story. These shoes just look awesome. I tried them on. They feel amazing. They're pricey, but um, in my experience, sometimes the pricier, higher quality things are worth getting because you love them and you wear them all the time. I haven't actually worn these. I've had them for a couple weeks, but um, hopefully I can get myself to wear them. Uh, let, me, let me show them to you guys. These are the Kobe... 11s, I believe. So, check them out, check them out. My local store is sold out, so I had these shipped straight from Nike. Fuck! Dude, such a solid build. Let me get closer to show you guys. Amazing. Myron. 
Oh, by the way, that cardboard right there, uh, yeah, no narcissist. <laughs> Picked that up from Bat's house. He just had it laying around. Um, I, I, I always just kind of, you know, rub it off because I see it every day, but you guys might see it like, what the hell, this guy's full of himself. Not the case. Just, uh, just got it there. Got it from Matt's house. But anyway, check out these shoes, guys. The Kobe 11s. Fuck. So sexy. So sexy. Um, so they're like a hardcore, like, mesh material, guys. Almost like a fly knit material. Um, a little bit tougher, though. The construction is awesome. Super sturdy, heavy, heavy-duty construction. Not too heavy, though, as far as weight. So, um... Uh, the inside is very very padded Very comfortable for like a day-to-day -day shoe or like if you're training upper body or even legs anything I've heard legs is even a really good uh, day to wear these shoes if you're not wearing like, you know squat shoes, obviously But um, yeah, very sturdy. You're not gonna have like lateral movement It's not gonna be like, you know Nike Roshi's for example that are just like wobbly ass shoes These are very 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 sturdy and solid. No, I'm not getting paid to do any of this review stuff I just love these guys um Actually makes me even want to play basketball, but all I can do is dribble and I can't shoot. But anyway, I'm, I'm excited to break these in, guys. The Kobe 11s. You'll probably see them in a video sometime soon. Not to be about materialistic stuff. I just thought these shoes were really cool. I haven't gotten shoes in a long time, so I'm pretty excited about them. Anyway, if you guys saw my previous couple of vlogs, I got Kels a pair of uh, white Nikes that are pretty pretty sick, too. If In case you guys are girls watching and you want to get an idea for kicks as well. But anyway... I think these retail for about 200 if you guys are interested. I know that's kind of pricey, but hey, uh, I tried them on, comfortable, uh, beyond what normal shoes are, and they're gonna be sturdy, they're gonna last for a long time, so why not invest in yourself, right? Um, and like I said, I have the boys actually hooked me up with a great um, offer on these, so. That being said, sit back down so you can see my beautiful face. I'm happy to catch up with you guys. Sorry, this is just one long, raw clip. I don't have um, a way to really edit it right now. Um, I'm just going to post it up ASAP so you guys can get it. I'm excited to see you guys next week in the daily vlogs or in a few days, you know, however long that computer takes to uh, send over to my boy Lino. Um, like I said, I already got some footage to be edited and posted. Um, I'll update you guys on my cut. I have some cool shopping ideas. Uh, grocery shopping is what I'm talking about uh, for food, you know, on your cut now that I'm kind of living that life. Um, some exciting things with the car because you guys know cars are my life aside from you know lifting weights and stuff and fitness So I'm excited to update you guys. Thank you for the support. I won't make this video any longer. Much love. Yuxta out. Peace